Hey guys, it's Sash, and in this video, I'm gonna be doing some more Super Queen with Hog Barge attack for farming. Now, one of the things I wanna mention is the efficiency of this composition. It trains very quickly. It only takes around 28 minutes to get a full army without boost, uh, while if you're training something like Barge, barge takes, barge takes around 22 minutes without boost. So if you're boosting, say, all four barracks, you're gonna be able to get a full army of this instantly. Or if you uh, boost two barracks, which I normally do, then you can also get this army composition very quickly in around 14 minutes. So another thing I want to mention is the cost of this army. It costs around 8,000 in total elixir and uh, around 390 dark elixir while Barch also requires around 80,000 elixir. So as you can see, uh, it's a very efficient, cost efficient, it trains fast and it's very effective. Unlike Barch, you can't really attack storages inside a base with Barch as effectively as you can with this method. With this method, you can attack storages, you can get that dark elixir storage with this method. You can get multiple gold and elixir storages and you can also get the town hall with this method. So it's a very versatile method, very effective and I really recommend using it. Okay, awesome, a Town Hall 9 base with around 720,000 in total resource. Uh, so let's see, well, our plan is going to be to core this base, get inside the core with our Archer Queen and have her target all these storages over the walls from that core. So we're going to first test for the Clan Castle, see if there's anything inside, there is. So let's pull them all out. There's only two Barbarians it seems. Okay, not a problem. And uh, let's see, one thing I like to look for is the placement of the point defenses and see how many are clumped in each uh, section. So here uh, you have these, that archer tower is upgrading so we're going to disregard that. So you have a cannon, archer tower and then we also have to look for the placement of teslas which is possibly around the town hall or maybe it's possibly around that empty space so we might have to use a raid spell if so. We're going to attack from the top. Um, Actually no, let's avoid the Archer Queen. We're just going to completely avoid her by sending out the Queen here. Send out healers. And what we're going to do here is we're going to send out Archers to remove these Collectors. So those Archers are going to remove that Collector and have our Archer Queen then focus on moving down. So here as you can see she's going to go for the Wizard Tower and then she's going to go for the Archer Tower. Hoping she takes out the Archer Tower uh, so that she can recover back quick. So here she's, she has taken it out and now she should be able to recover back quick and then she's going to go for the builder hut and then she's going to go for the camp or uh, the air defense that's in range over there. So here she's being targeted by three point defenses, <laughs> defenses. so we're going to have to place that raid spell right before uh, they do enough damage. So here we've recovered her, she's going to take out the mortar and then she should be able to take out the cannon. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna once she makes her way towards that wizard tower we're gonna send out our barbarians and archers to remove the, the cannon and the archer tower here so we're gonna spread our barbarians archers and we're gonna open up that layer while that wizard tower is distracted we're gonna open up that layer send in more barbarians and archers okay that's great and we're gonna send in another pair of wall breaker and then another pair of wall breaker and then our final pair of wall breaker and have them all go towards the inside. Here we're gonna rage again because of the <laughs> all the Teslas in that uh, core area that uh, we predicted to be. So with that rage our Archer Queen was able to take out both Teslas. Now we have used two rage spells but I'm confident that they're worth it as uh, we should be able to get all the storages from inside that core. So she's gonna go after the Town Hall and she's being targeted here by two Expos, doesn't matter. Expos, Expos aren't really that powerful uh, unless if they're coupled with other point defenses. But my Archer Queen has already taken out all the Teslas, so now she's only getting targeted by one Expo. And that's really not going to be enough to stop her. It's just going to be very easy now. As you can see, the other point defenses are just are on the exterior of the base. So really no problem. Uh, here we're running low on time. So that's the only problem with this... Uh, with this composition. So we're gonna activate her ability to quickly grab that resource, summon some archers, and then also go for uh, the storages over there. Unfortunately, we ran out of time, but we still managed to get around 550,000 in total resource and 2,500 dark elixir, so that's very nice. 
Okay, here we found a Town Hall 8 with lots of resources. And these are the types of bases that I'm really looking for because it's just so easy to 3-star any Town Hall 8 base uh, with this method. So I'm going to start with uh, testing that Klein Castle. There are some archers inside, so let's keep summoning barbarians to pull them out. Okay, that looks like all of them. Uh, we're going to pull them out right at the corner here. And we're not going to waste the poison, it's just going to be very easy to remove uh, all of these archers. So then we're going to attack from, we're definitely going to attack from this side because the town hall is just outside here. And uh, obviously town halls do carry resource now so we have to attack them. Um, let's see, we're going to attack from the top. We're going to have our archer queen uh, walk south and then we're going to break inside from a southern entry point. So here we're going to remove that spell dark spell factory uh, to then have our archer queen focus on moving toward the south here she's being targeted by a tesla and the archer tad doesn't matter these defenses are just too weak they're not going to be able to do much damage so uh she's going to go for the air sweeper next so what we're going to do here is we're going to send in barbarians and archers uh, over there to remove that cannon because right after that town hall as you can see she's going for the air sweeper since it's the next closest so we're going to need to remove that cannon. Uh, looks like there were some skeleton traps that stopped us from doing so. But it doesn't really matter. We don't really need her to go south. But it just, it just, it's just going to make it much easier having her go towards south. But she's going to take out the Tesla right after the air defense. And then she's going to make her way towards the south. Perfect. And uh, what we're going to do is now we're going to create that entry point. Right here at the south where uh, the wizard towers are very far away the mortars are all the way at the center so we don't have to worry about them open up that layer of wall great and we're also going to open up another layer of wall right here as the defense is distracted two pair of a pair of a uh, wall breaker and another pair of wall breaker and we're going to send in our final pair of wall breaker and we um may have to use a rage probably not yeah we don't have to use a rage now uh, those healers did try to heal some of the archers but they died before that. So this is why I really like Barch for this composition because if you were to use giants sometimes those healers may run off towards uh, healing the giants but, but they're much less likely to separate from your queen so it's much more likely that so it, it's it's much more likely that they'll stay with the queen, help support the queen, and help her core the base much easier and take all the storages without having to worry about the healers separating from the queen. So here only 28 seconds left, doesn't matter. It's just gonna be enough time to get the last elixir storage. So perfect. We're just gonna activate her ability and we're just gonna head out here. Okay, awesome, a Town Hall 9 with 900,000 in total resource. Uh, so we're definitely going to go for all of it. We're going to attack from the south because uh, the Town Hall is right there. Um, looking at the empty spaces, empty spaces around the Dark Elixir storage over there. Um, possibly, yeah, possibly a Tesla around that Town Hall area somewhere. Uh, so we're going to attack, let's see. Yeah, we're going to attack from the south. Right here, send in our queen, send in healers. Uh, two point defenses doesn't matter. She's just gonna quickly take out the archer tower, and then she's gonna be a, it's just gonna be a piece of cake from there. So here, she's going for the wall instead of uh, walking around. Okay, uh, at least it's a level six wall. We don't have to use any wall breakers here. So while that wizard tower is distracted, we're just gonna use some archers here. Okay, there was a giant bomb right outside. That's a weird placement uh, for a giant bomb. So let's keep trying. We're going to send in some archers here. One, two, archer. Try and go for that wizard tower. There we go. Remove the wizard tower. And let's see. Now, once we know the direction she's going to take, either left or right, then we can start sending in our barbarians and archers. Uh, so here, I'm still not 100% sure as to which direction she's going to take, either the left or right. It doesn't matter as long as she takes one of those directions, then we can start sending out, sending out our barbarians and archers. Uh, so here she's decided to attack from the left. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread our barbarians here first, check for any outside giant bombs. Okay, no giant bombs there. And then spread our barbarians and archers uh, from this side. And while the defenses are distracted, send in that pair of wall breaker, open up that first layer. And then we're gonna send in more wall breakers, open up the second, another pair of wall breaker over here. 
and we're gonna place a raid spell right here and couple that raid spell with those wall breakers to open up both of those layers here and that one perfect uh, so our archer queen has made it to the core and uh, she is getting she is taking advantage of that raid spell and the raid spell is also healing our healers so multiple properties of that raid spell to assist our wall breakers in breaking open the uh, walls and also keeping our archer queen healthy the rage spell boosts the effect of heal and uh, Just makes it much easier for our queen to make it inside and take down as many point defensive threats as she can so here she's inside and uh, It's just gonna be a piece of cake from here on out Okay, so for the last raid, we found this collector raid, lots of resource, uh, but it's almost all inside the collectors. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna send out our queen right here onto this gold mine, and we're only gonna need two healers. That's it, because as you can see, these defenses are very weak. Uh, that's a level seven archer tower, I believe, or level eight. Then you have a level seven cannon, level nine archer tower. So it's just gonna be very easy. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna allow the queen to just walk around the base. So here she's gonna uh, remove that cannon, uh, but she's gonna go for the wall here, unfortunately. But then she's gonna get inside and remove that cannon. And uh, while she removes that cannon, she should be able to recover back again. Uh, so she's gonna remove the mortar and then the wizard tower, and then she's gonna make her way towards the south. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna remove that archer tower while uh, our queen is distracting the archer tower. So this is gonna be our plan. We're gonna remove defenses uh, as our archer queen distracts them. So here we're gonna distract that barbarian king with that uh, with one of our barbarians here. And uh, then we're gonna send in archers over the wall to take care of that king. So as you can see, the queen distracting the barbarian king here. Uh, the queen distracting the archer tower. So we're just gonna quickly use, again, barbarians and archers while our queen walks around here. We're gonna constantly do this. We're just gonna constantly keep sending in barbarians and archers uh, to destroy these defenses while our queen uh, removes them. So here she's gonna again go for the wall unfortunately. She's not gonna go around uh, So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna break inside and Continue to help her So let's see she's gonna go for the elixir storage and Those storages are out of her range. So she's gonna go for the cannon next So there we go. She's gonna go for the cannon So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send an archer right here because she's getting targeted by two point defenses now she's only getting targeted by one. So we're gonna need to remove that archer tower right there quickly. Um, she's going for the wall again. That's fine. Uh, again, now all the resources are right on the outside, on the outskirts. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna send in barbarians here. Uh, always pay attention to your archer queen. So then we're gonna send in the elixir collector. And let's see. There's only one gold mine left right at the corner. We're just going to remove this air defense, spread our archers here. So as you can see from my attack log, making a ton of resources uh, with this attack strategy and it's just so fun. Uh, so I'm, I'm really enjoying myself while casually farming with this and hope you guys learned a lot and also enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys again soon. I'll have more of these. So later.